um, a political, you know, limelight. They are given opportunities like men. Uh, women are given um, all kind of caring that they deserve, especially when they are pregnant, when they are about to breed a newborn. There is nothing critical than that. We all know that pregnancy is a risk. We all came from a mother. We all know any time that a person is pregnant with a child, that nine months, anything could happen. You know, sometimes I've seen women has developed, you know, diabetes during pregnancy, high blood pregnancy. All of this sickness, we cause it to our mothers because they have to give birth to us. So we cannot underestimate the importance of, you know, women in our lives. We cannot underestimate the importance of pregnancy. I have five, I mean, five kids. I know how it, you know, it all went. So we have to 110% be there, serve them, give them all the medical needs if possible, just to make sure that they bring that baby to life and they are protected after delivering that baby. So with that, you know, I'm just going to allow our panelists to jump in. We have our guest, Mbali Cham. Um, she's uh, calling us through the phone with the six, starting with the 608 number. And we have our other sister, Binta Drame. She's from Gambia also. She's also an advocate on this issue and part of the new Gambia platform. And I have my co-panelist, uh, Alas Ngeri from Germany, Hi. and yes. we have Sam Sise from Indiana. Welcome, guys. Yes. Um, you have the floor. Yes, I will be organized, so I will be fine to do, deal with morphine. So. Okay, so can I like write you All right, so we're going to allow our guests yes. to come I don't have to show as soon as it's set up. No, you, can, you can feel it, but I can feel it too, but you know, because I have the training with the other place, but um, yeah. You are here till what time today? Um, I don't know, another hour or so. Okay, oh, okay. I think so yes, we, can, uh, we can put her on okay. mute yeah. for a minute. Okay. All right. So um, then I don't think she's ready yet. So we can just let me see if I can unmute her. I ask her. Yeah, I put her on mute, so I'm trying to unmute her. Oh. I and asked her to unmute, but I don't think she's. Uh... Okay, then you just have to click again. Huh? Where you click, just click again. No, it doesn't allow you to do it. Okay. I guess, you know, I have to call her to, to unmute her. But uh, meanwhile, we can just allow uh, Binta to come in and then perhaps explain the situation. And you are feel free to talk in any local languages. Again, this is a platform that encourages that. So our audience are all diverse. Binta, if you can come in while I uh, get in touch with our guests. But I think I think Binta is having connection problem. Binta is, uh, is not connecting as well? Oh, yeah, 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 no. Yeah, Binta. Can you hear us? I think the connection is poor on her side. Just going and coming. I don't know. You, got, you cannot hear. Audio is you not on. The audio is not on. That's why. Okay. Uh, Ella, audio, audio, your audio. Check your audio. Okay. While I'm while that's going it. on, um, we don't we don't wanna. Uh, while I'm getting our guests uh to to get in um. Can can um, Alice or Sam come in and give an insight? Let, let Sam come in. Alice. <laughs> <Well, it's>, uh, <laughs> well, no, I wanted welcome. to give an opportunity to to uh, Mbaling that's uh, at work, you know, because once we start, I think uh, when she comes in, she needs to get on first so that she can go back to work. So, 
Uh, are you are we calling her or what is happening? She's on mute. There, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, you are on mute. Can you uh can you yeah, can you uh, you are on you are mute I mute you. Can you unmute yourself? Yeah, but you are on I mute you, so can you mute back? I mean I think you get out already. You get out. Can you come in again? Yeah. No, no, you're not there now. I'm not seeing you in the screen, so. Maybe she can hear us, but we cannot hear. Hello? She's out. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can I was, hear you. Huh? I can hear you. You can hear me. Okay. So I, I, I just talked to her to tell her to come in again because I, I don't see her on the screen. Um what let's, um, so let's let's let, yeah, let's start because we don't wanna keep our they can always yeah. jump in when they come in. I think Binta also dropped out and she's probably gonna try to get back in. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway. Um, I, I can start. So uh, I think uh, this is a very, very important topic. And it's a topic we need to look at uh, from the top and coming down. Uh, when I say from the top is I'm thinking in the government because healthcare is very important in general. Healthcare in general is very important. Women's lives matter. Everybody's lives matter, but women are very important. And just like you said, um, they are our mothers, our sisters, our wives and niece, and, you know, all of that, and, you know, very, very <laughs> important. She's coming in. Are you in? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. We can let you start actually on uh, this. That way, okay. since you're at work. So, Binta, 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 Oh, sorry, no, sorry. So, yep. Do you guys want me to speak Mandinka or what do you guys want me to speak? No, you Whatever you're speak comfortable with. with. I am comfortable with anything, but I, you know what I am going to say? Mm -hmm. I really want uh, our Gambian mothers to hear it. I'm yeah, going to say, say I do it my in English thing, because so. English is uh, general. English. Yes, yep. but I don't think a lot of them can speak English, you know. Okay. Yeah, speak, does, speak, you know, uh, yeah. Speak, speak, speak in Mandinka. Let's then, take Mandinka. In that case, yeah. Yeah, Makes because um, it's about um, Nagambia Musolu. Number one, in telling um, Balin Cham, in telling uh, Gambian women's um, life matter, in telling a form Nindima Matida Bojang, because our medical school. So we went to Gambia. I'm sorry, English before I get a do video. Ntada Gambia le. So we didn't have Gambia and Jejele, and a Lopitan Uliye, so a Mol Uluta and Yala, and a Juve Mimbije. So since then, we didn't tell Nata now, we have our own foundation, Bama Care Foundation. So then, every day, in Kamoli Jekafa, Lopitan, or in Kafako, Ulu, Ulu, Abe Ulu, Kanala, Yellow, Nina Banta. So Nata decide go. Gambian women's life matter, because why we say that all that is happening? But Imam Momu Mimba Udi Amula. Mang Ani Momu Momo Wuli. So until we America Jane, Najeni Muli problem was a mobile like a Wuli a fight. Fail a right sort of. But a Gambia beating him will be far sometimes near Kol Kekweko, Mosa Balefata, Lopitan Otto, Ibe Fata Wulu Wola. So Mdoma Nata Nimana the frame on Yinda, a Gambian woman's life matter. I challenge everybody to change your profile to this. And it works. Nga ala tentu, nga mobe tentu, Gambian olube nata, ikaputama, nata na group of anandada, Gambian Women's Foundation group. We support us all, alhamdulillah. Mosi ata bake bake. So, the amopura is to ya, the mobe tentu lembe jaila, very on the 23rd of September, the magic from Westfield to Kairaba Avenue traffic light. 
we just want to deliver. Tatandi nagambia masakunda ani Ministry of Health ani ngambia musoli mimi kakonosa because call mimi bije abe sai jamala na investigation okele mi yaron ko ngaje ko ko do bije akabundi private hospital ola sai lela ngaje ko do bije gambia musolu imantari la doko ke ka nyam aje ko do bije musukono mali fanang ali sal ha ko bendi ye ibuke la procedure ta anyama because nga be investigate le nim na group of fanang ibe la message yol nge be la moile so nga be put together nga lo mim problem of so na next move mo mo le ti ni gambia la la boni la fa ni e do ko ke because it's going to be very difficult pour ke la own blood la la bank lo gambia so we are going to get in touch with them ni ni sa do ko ke sa gambia din o luta nge ne ne ikana ika yelo di ani to be fendi le le because a jara tala le gambia women's life mara why we say that not only our women are dying na dinde wol fanam be fakan ne they are our features so it's very very painful right now mi be kering gambia asia ta bakela so ndalu be mi ke ka wolom nyinti ko i hope mo be yena nyimu mo be talati gambia be lo musuo keo let's all fight for this because dinde wol ni la na talo foje ibu kala fi ka jibe no and do near a story le moy because il a family li be reach out to us na group o ni e bi je le ka story le for me ne di ne wol fa balo fan ka fa le bi ka pe ko o moy because ndawu lu ta janne na fu len ni wol fa wo lu janne man any complication so so nga moy mi ni je fu len ni wol bulu ye di wol to coma i cannot just sit and watch that no because ala yen ta ma ko ni te bi jak but wo mo po people ni bi jana il a joint moment ati fane di ngol soto fay di ngol e fiito soto so baru wol ban sen soto e batay la futu ko ni mu ni ko bondi woto musu ko na mal fanga ben tol ko kan ni be sila ring iko ima hanyi so the everybody is depressed right now ni ku ya be musu ko na mal kan ni ku ya be musu dinde ngol kan ni ku ya be kel kan min la musu ko no be la family member so be so mol be vita from west to kairaba avenue be na message be deliver pour foot ala san dema ni gambia ma sakunda sa do ko ke andu ministre of health france wuli sa investigation ok because na kuma jama la mo l'hopital ko no mi ya don ko ma nyen kel ni el story fa bala fa warta la so wala wati na nga nim form gambia women's life mara yeah okay very good very good thank you mbali um but mbe mbinara le you know turka nyin ko nyin ka to go in deeper so let's allow you know um the panelists to come in and contribute because question will be jele nanta men nyin kala and uh kujumal be jele nanta men fanang investigate la puruna mol salon na viewers all salon what is going on mm-hmm. all right thank you bita can you hear us Ama nanu. Binda. Ninda pare kana ya foy. Okay. Uh, um binda kama ndako ino audio for more that's what they have. Eh feel bad. Because ngi ala ndata ro jele mbuka fo ngi. So let's yeah, let's stop. Yeah, yeah, Sam you can come in and then while we you know I text her to try to see how she is. Eh? That's wonderful. Thank you mbali thank you so much for your time um we really appreciate that ngila dia mo mo kumaya tabake and uh um it's 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 it is very sad it's very sad at this point to really have to go through this and and see women going through all this pain uh, just to be able to deliver a healthy baby in Gambia uh it, it is very sad and something needs to be done about it And, and what is the solution i i'm going to th- uh, talk about we know the problems right now we know there's a lot of problems there a lot of issues out there um i want to talk about you know what is the solution the solution needs to start from the top from the uh ministry of health um you know uh, also from uh from 
uh, our uh, the, the government in general, the government, but particularly the Ministry of Health. Ministry of Health really need to be um, restructured and As part of restructuring, they need to understand and, and think about all of these. Uh, think about the health of people and think about women's health as well. Uh, be able to have some strategies in place where women can have healthy babies. They can be healthy throughout their pre pregnancy uh, by, by advising them to making sure that, one, they go see a gynecologist uh, during their pregnancy. They definitely need to be able to see that. So. If there are any complications, they can catch them from the beginning uh, and, and do something about them before it's too late. Then um, the hospital uh, really need to be, uh, you know, we, and I said this back in, in, in 2016, I remember when Jemmy was in, in, in power. Uh, Gambia Hospital really need to be um, uh, uh, reformed. The hospital system, the, the whole health administration need to be reformed. We need to start with the, the, the directors of health. Uh, the board of directors need to really be people that can look into day-to-day -day operations of the hospitals in Gambia and make changes as we go to continue to develop and improve everything in Gambia uh, when it comes to the health of people. So people don't go through all this. The hospital is dirty. To me, the hospital is very dirty, really dirty. The whole hospital need to be really cleaned out and disinfected. In fact, I said, if we can, uh, if it was up to me, Gambia should actually build a brand new hospital somewhere and close the RVTH and knock it down, build it fresh, you know, build a, br a brand new hospital there for facility for people while the main hospital is open somewhere else outside of Banjul that people can have access to without having to go through Denton Bridge all the time and go to that place. So it's in a more densely populated area, somewhere in the combo that can accommodate a big land uh, and, and, uh, and, and build a brand new hospital and a high tech hospital. Hospital that will have everything that we have in America, pretty much, so that we can care for our people. We have uh, good doctors, good nurses that will go through all kinds of training, including customer service, because they don't know, I mean, in Gambia, I mean, if, from what I've been hearing from people, what nurses are telling people, uh, pregnant people, is not a good approach. Those, all of those need to stop. They really need to stop. They need to put things in place to make sure that everyone understands that, you know, when a sick person walks in that door, when a pregnant person walks in the door, that is their priority. No matter what else they're doing, they need to drop everything just like here. Uh, and that's why I said, you know, women's lives matter. Very, very, very important. This is why back in 2016, when Jamie was in power, and that was when during the campaign, I heard that Jamie has a brand new, uh, a, a, a three million or three and a half million house, a dollar house in, in the US in Potomac, Maryland. I said, you know what? Jamie is misusing our funds. Instead of doing that, he could have renovated and probably built a new hospital in Gambia. And I even said that he could have even purchased two brand new helicopters <laughs> in Gambia. Yeah. That can be there for emergency use. One can be based in the Banjul area in the new hospital there. And, uh, or, or even if it's our VTH, if they renovated and make it uh, nice enough uh, uh, to a point where, you know, helicopters don't need a runway to take off. All they need is a place to land. And on top of the hospital can all be concrete enough to, to allow a, 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 a helicopter to land there. And another one can be in the Bansang area, up river. That way, anytime there are very serious accidents or uh, uh, women that are in labor in, in, in very serious complications, instead of putting them on donkey carts to take them to the hospitals, those helicopters will just have to fly. <laughs> they avoid all the traffic, fly straight to that place, pick that person up within 30 minutes there in the hospital, land on the hospital and get them out uh, while the, the medical team already with all their PPE ready to take care of this person. And they can take care of them until that woman delivers that baby without any problems. 
that's what needs to happen for women. And, and unfortunately, we're going backwards. We really need going backwards. We, 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 we're at a point where we won't even think about helicopters. We need to think about what can we do inside the hospital uh, uh, and get the right people there with the right mindset that knows that women's life matter. And not only they, are, they, they not only is saving the women's life, they're saving the babies as well. Yeah. This is very important. It's an important matter that needs to be given an urgent and urgent consideration. No matter what they do, they need to drop everything and take care of women. So I'm going to leave it here for now and open it for, for, uh, uh, for the rest of you to come in. I yeah. will add more to this later on, but uh, I, I just want to, don't want to take too much time. Thank you, sir. Good. No, no. Yeah, hold on. All right, Alice. Um, <laughs> good, good. Uh, you want to come or Binda? Binda is, uh, are you on mute? Can you hear Binda? Binda? Yeah, it's on We cannot hear you, Binta. What what happened to you? Um, she's on, but her audio is not on. That's your audio, your hear. audio is the problem. Your audio. Yeah. Can you check it? Hello. Okay, now we can hear you. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Hello, Binta. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Good evening to you all. Good evening. Um, you have Pal Malik with you there, or you? Or it's only you. It's only me. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you for coming. Um, so Alice, I mean, um, Mbalin just finished um, introducing the issues and then Sam just jump in with some solutions. Um, if you wanna come in or oh, Alice wanna come in. Yeah, let Binta come in. Okay, all right, Binta, you can come in and explain the situation in, in local languages. You don't have to worry, you know, it doesn't have to be in English. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Come left off for a jam, I'll be content. Yeah. In topic is very important because covering first person on Facebook, I feel so bad. Muso Benjamin, Muso like an accordal mala, Muso like a dingle wulu. So, Nemusola life, my mother, Mang Tenko. Memo problem what is your mom do? Outside, maybe what of Sona at the morning, but in Gambia, ne Kabribe one month, it had difficulty Kumasa Wolnia for Jani Bita deliver on nine months. And Nunjang Loptano to a Mambaga soul sort of first one Loptano to a ma equipment or sort of. Second one, mus no sol ni man pesen soto, because ni nata ibe labo, ikata le ye drum on labo word ye nya kasi laji, ikafu ya amunya amunya amunya. Mantara Europe, mantara America, but ngajele ni musol be on labo iki iki nya ameng. Ayati na saying musol be jemeni alonko ifisi. So I need a photo that came me along co assemble man private clinic journal. Government like love it and all one day. It got a thing of conole, it be kuma jowl for le, it be harassla, it be lari, it be pay a fan. Dolbe dual pay attend. That's more better for Musoy attend. Nibenta no so fe me along co keolem, or five patients or about Muso. Out of hundred, only five, only five people would have made a better yard. If you pay care of the thing, don't be the it got a label word. To look at the la hajo le katar kashala, it get a bull. Nonsense. Who must be able to pay care of the thing? Neither even no soul blame la. You must have kunda fan blame because Gambia jang. President Barofan and Jamanu, a man called Kamusu Kamusul Marque. Exam Tenkuin, healthcare system. But Jaloptano to attend Sikatalopano to the farm, two hundred dollars in Ibi, Bulhana Trakono Matila, 
two hundred dollars na be able. What is satisfied la lopta anoto because he loved you. Yet I borrow what he bulu. Gambia jan kodo kadunja na bo. Mr. Stale is also closed now. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Thank you so much for that insight. Thank you. Baraka, baraka. Okay, okay. Binta. Alice, you can you can hear me? Okay. Okay, Binta, you Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Binta just finished, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Binta, we'll come back because um you are you are an eyewitness to these issues. So Binale Bemurna Kane, Bari Madungara Alas come follow. Question Jamal Bijang, Balim Fanam Beduna Nane, Purunga Nanyuko Fata Fata Domanding. Okay. I'm not fatan talk at the wallaka call in fata fata, yeah. It's a uh informational sufra masakundala and citizen soul fanang. In enter precaution on men kala is wolf and time and for one day. Okay, Alice, Nakam. Munga was all of or English? It's your choice. Uh, no. <laughs> None of them is better. <laughs> <laughs> None of them is better. <laughs> this this language for everything. This German language. Um yeah, I think I can talk in Wolof. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I think no, that would be better no, because no, actually, mm -hmm. yeah, because they're more very interesting local, local languages. Okay, let me go on for a reg boy. You're a Jeff Binder, she's a card with you about this uh, women's life matters, uh, you know. And uh, we get points you might pick out from your speech, which are very, very short indeed. I mean, it's not something new. Yundi Hamene is there in the Gambia. Even before Barros government, uh, people were hoping that they will, it will change, you know. But uh, I think this, uh, they neglect this health system a long time ago, as Nakaloko uh, Samwa Herek, you know. Yunsoko uh, said, Lord, the money is there, it's coming, but going in another place. So that means. The problems the women are having in Mega, you if you go, you have got something uh, as as a problem. You know, you know. So when we have these problems, you know, I'm fulfilling. Yep, they are all products of corruption. You know, so this is about the products of corruption. They are the effects of corruption because. Okay, and we don't control our money. How is being you, being your demilion, things like that. Last time I said it, you, we have no end control. So what I couldn't get up my feet for the flow on without being controlled or anything, you know. So you think how many million they give our dollar normally? You know what I get a strict controlling how is being your actual deal because they can't am how is that they do that. So what about a poor nation like Gambia? So, you know, we are not moving. You know, the EU will give us money. Uh, the World Bank will give us money. Donors are coming, like rain. But still, you cannot see anything. You know, I mean, uh, Barrow is promising having other projects and so it's good. Maybe it's not a more money for those projects. Again, everything was controlled. You know, we had this anti-corruption board right at the beginning, you know. But I was, we were fighting for that since at the beginning. Because we knew without that, forget it. You know, many countries, the individual system board, anti-corruption board, we more board board have they take care and they have more rights than even the police. They can even arrest somebody and you go to court tomorrow. If I told that you steal something. You know, and, and, and they can be from each government given more powers, even for that. So, you we am not capable of it. Tampurmoneka loa, 
baro sign na ko be pare ñu dañ fa wone baro moy dilé sa way ndike sign na ko be pare kay bi fi nega pour mu nega loi mu ci mpc depuis time bu sign nañ ko waxuñ affaire am tambedo was there making excuses même fa joggé ñu ngi ngi melni luñ duggal dal ci ron kapé because nobody want to talk about lu tax bu ñu wax about it so that they can still do what they are doing today which is a big say you know so i would advise everybody if you have uh, like a speaker here here talents mp go to him or her tell them to make sure that they make this proceed process very quickly because it's been late we are going in our fourth month fourth year you know they will not be active with it such a cat it will for us to hear that word duñ paré pour savoir ci ça because why because dafa tek sen bu ndé so while we have these doors open then the whole world can give us anything it will go you understand but the latest news i hear is many gambians now they steal the money they don't do it there they don't show up they run with it to senegal to build there and buy there a compound that the people see it. you know so people who are doing such things they still have the freedom they still have not have some people they say gambia is a corruption paradise you know so eh uh, my advice like my government when you try you do a come baro sign this anti corruption board bill please 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 you try and do that you know jan so ko bu gere le final dogal board bad be to have it easy you know you have all these problems no dem dem dey wara dey products of corruption you know even this 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 natality problem they have all all the problems luta because of shortage of money so there is a finance you know or only somewhere to build a new hospital you need money but where is the, this money somebody took it and put it in his own bank or, or or his own pocket and building his villas you know to show up not to help the people but let the people see what you can do and you cannot do it you steal it from these people who are going to look at you you understand we have to be realistic and fair to ourselves so we hey you know i'm a muslim you know all most are full you know but most of them don't know what the quran is talking about you understand and the the the, the, the majority of the people when these thieves come and give them 50 dollars they forget they even try to praise him he's a good man they don't know that he's stealing their money you know so ni ni dey wara conscious na hamne halis bo bi yep sen boss la you know you will have a lot of money just only one person take everything for himself so others are going to market and buy just a small fish to eat with their family that is corruption and there is danger of corruption you see this covid 19 is a test for many african countries african presidents who neglected their health services you understand so now they get this panic i want to do something but they don't even know where to start because they, it was not even in their plans you know so when people are dying i mean this issue is not only for women i mean you have to even say men and women life matters you know why it's a general problem it's a general problem not only for the women because when the women said uh, say say to their men look i am afraid of the hospital of getting killed so forget it you understand i am not going to lose my life with this condition in this uh, hospitals so what do you think and if i die you go and marry another person so either we all go and demonstrate and so voice out our problems but not only the women i don't see this 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 demonstration i'm hearing even not only for women because the men are concerned because the men are the 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 cause of everything you can see so if i am a man i love my woman i don't want to see the woman in such a condition only if i don't love the woman i want her to risk her, her life which i don't care because when she is gone i can marry you know as many people think sometimes 
Uh, but you have to remember, who is going to take care of the, your other kids? I know our men, we are all going to do it, or you'll be full of stress. You know, without women, we are nothing. I, I know this, you know? So uh, again, uh, I had that people, I don't think them to private, uh, all these issues are happening in the private like clinics. The, the thing is, we have to ask ourselves, you know, no one like that. what is our hospital there doing? Why are people taking the risk to give them the private hospital clinic, see? Uh-huh. They, and, and, and they know that they are going to pay even more. These are uh-huh. questions. You know, can we afford them freely? Nobody. So the women run there because they think that is even more dangerous. You understand? No, no, need to doubt it. To, to, to clinics and even paying money for it, you know, for their lives. It should have been the other way around. That when anything happens, you go to the place where it is free for you, you know. So uh, they said these private clinics, they, they keep for bad things are dangerous, then they send them to Royal Victoria. Then it's already late. So then it will be called as they died in Royal Victoria and not in the clinic. Because these clinics are also trying to preserve their name. So it, I think it's, it's, a, it's a game. But everybody knows, and it's very sad, you know, that our own hospital don't have anything. You cannot say don't have anything. They had, and they're having also every day, just that they, there is also corruption, and you cannot see it. How many tons of, of, of medical equipments are there uh, sent from Europe, from the diaspora, you know? Uh, for the for the Royal Victoria Hospital, but go there today, you will not see anything. Where are they? They are in apotheques and clinics. So this thing they have to stop it. This thing they have to stop it and control and then and, and try to investigate always. You know, if things come right away from the half from the uh, seaport, they try to follow. Up. You understand? I know that in Gambia is difficult. If you want to fight these things. You are in a trouble. Why? Because of the corruption. You know? I mean, that's why I think it's, it's worse than Corona. A minister started to go over this. You see what happened to her. It's not easy in a place like Gambia. When the top is not active to work against it. The Minister of Health now came out and said something in the parliament. Everybody praised him. I myself, I have a big respect to this person. I love people like this, you know, and we have very few of them, unfortunately. His speech in the parliament should not have been his speech. His speech should have been from the parliaments themselves. His speech should have been from the president of the government. His speech should have been from the minister of finance. You understand? So he's just a patriot, and he knew that these things are going on. Mune Harama claims what because he knew already what is going on. What is that for a for a for a, for a, for a industry? I could really get him. So that he come out and and clean himself first because he knew he knew what is going to happen. And exactly that is what's happening. People are asking where is the money? You know? There are a lot of millions of that came inside. But we see some bad surprise. I mean, it's okay, but I done nothing. But you cannot tell me the, the millions are only uh, these bad surprise, you know? So the government, they don't take that money and buy masks out of it for the people. The people don't even need to buy it. Give some people uh, food, help, uh, all the time because they are staying indoors or state of emergency, you know? But I am only disappointed that Mr. Samate came out and voice out. You yet you don't hope it now. The government will react now. But do you hear anything about it? Nothing. I myself no. So that means if I were a nigga topic Mohammed, it should be silent. Or nobody should talk about it. Or let people just make noise. After one week they forget and we continue doing what we So Gambia not to stop all these things. I don't know which government will do it. Nabara will try. But 
that will be always the case. That will be always the case. When we have problems. And you know, as I used to say, yep, it's a product of corruption. Even as far as we don't have anti-corruption board, which everybody is neglecting, when someone is putting that in the, in the drawers and under the carpets, we'll never go forward. This is my warning. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, Alice, that's a very good insight. Again, Alice, for contributing. Thank you. Um, so now we go, we're just going to uh, dive in a little bit deeper um, because we are almost 40 minutes in the program. Now, uh, a lot of things has been say, stated here. So uh, talking about what Sam proposed, um, Mbal, um, Mbal actually gave us the overview, the reason why they're going to do this, because um, they feel like they went to Gambia and they saw an incident. Women are dying on the hospital yeah. beds and they are not being taken care of. So they came with this idea, uh, she and her daughter, uh, to form this group called Women Lives Matters. And then they ask people to share it and make it as their profile, um, their profile name, which is so beautiful. I, I was trying to do it, but I didn't know how. So that's why I was late on that. But it, it kind of raised an eyebrow. It kind of raised a concern for every, all the citizens that we need to we need to um, definitely start talking about this issue. And prior to that, you know, Binta had brought the issue on our platform about this, like I think two weeks ago. Um, so we are planning a way how to bring it to, to the show. And here, is, here it is today. Now, uh, the most important thing here is that they came up with this idea to form this thing so that they can sensitize the public under the government Already the government knows about it because of they, if they are overseers of everything, they should know that what, what is going on. All these things shouldn't be new or stories, especially the Minister of, um, Minister of Health. Now, the, the thing that we are here for today and the discuss with our, as we look at these comments with our, um, our audience is that we have a situation, about 500 and something women passed away because of the delivery situation. And again, I said this already, women are very important in our life mm -hmm. because without them, we can sustain. When Adam was created, uh, uh, God has to bring in a woman in order to fulfill you know, the entire you know, living of a man. So, and if you look at the pregnancy, all of us went through somebody's, um, you know, so, so through pregnancy, through, some, through somebody. And then imagine that person risk you know, his or her life, I mean, sorry, his, her life, not his, we never had any men having a baby, um, her life for nine months. And then anything could have happened because they could have been a victim like this, the, these people. So that's why it's very important. If you look at your child in, in, in his eyes, you should be very appreciative how this pregnancy is, what the women go through, through this pregnancy. That's why women's life matters. It's not like if women are better than men, but what they go through at this process that men don't. Okay? So, again, you know, it's very important that we focus on that. But um, Sam has mentioned, um, Bali has mentioned that they have any, I mean, like a kind of a match. So let's all encourage and send, you know, our support and encouragement to get those matches. Well, the match, I don't know which date she said. So we come out, our family members come out, and then we can show the world that this is important. Now, another thing that was mentioned here is the, um, is the situation that, um, I mean, the health sector that Sam mentioned, having to provide transportation, not donkey carts. Donkey carts, you know, how long will a donkey carts take at a distance of five, I mean, four or five miles? It will take forever. Come on now. And then Gambian, you know, if you are in the combo areas, the traffic is so bad that, you know, if you have to, get into even a taxi, it will take you, it probably, if you're in Serekunda area, it probably take you forever to get to even one side of the, one side, one side of the uh, town. So we need to find a way. If it is in the US here or in the Western world, you have an ambulance. Once the one ambulance makes a siren sound, everybody leaves the road. If you are on the road, you're gonna get hit or you're gonna get you know, in trouble. Because that, that, that ambulance needs to be at a certain place, at a certain time. Because one second, somebody, you know, don't have blood or something happened, you can die. 
So this is why medically we need to be very, 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 we need to be elevated at least. What we, the situation we're having is so poor, it's so dangerous that we don't even know. If we need to put all our money beside food, it has to be um, medical, nothing else. It, if, if we can eat the, all our money that we have, instead of taking and paying for this you know, expensive hotel, travel, and all these nonsense things, all our money should have been poured into medical. Healthy populace is healthy country. So, but we keep a blind eye. Instead, what we had is that some of our medical officers are stealing medical equipment and taking it to their pharmacies. There, are, there have been reports on that. What is the government doing? What is the Minister of Health doing? You know, what are the enforcement to make sure that people are punished? And this is when corruption come into play. Like Alice was saying, corruption needs to be fought in the Gambia. If we don't fight corruption, we are doomed. If we are, don't put people in jail because somebody is stealing medical equipment and supply his pharmacy for his individual gain and that the populace is suffering, some people don't have access to that pharmacy. What kind of nonsense is that? We have to be real here. That is bull crap. So excuse my language, but you know, sometimes this thing gets out of hand. You know, you, you know, we have to be very you know, conscious here. If we had, don't have an uh, enforcer in chief, in chief, then you know, there's no point. You cannot sit down comfortably on your chair and you don't enforce. If people put you on office, you have to hold them, you, know, you, have, to, you have to be accountable and you have to also hold the people that are working for you accountable. And this is why we need, I mean, we need definitely change our system because this is not gonna work. So all this nonsense should stop. We put all the, you know, like uh, make sure the equipment's come in. We put money into it, supervise it, make sure that they are go to the right people, especially the poor. They don't have access. They don't have people that helps them. So we have to focus on them because life matters to everybody's life is equal. We are all created equal. Either you are poor, rich, white, or black. Everybody, life is equal in the eyes of Allah. So I guess, you know, people listening to this, we should know that definitely we should stop stealing from, from our, our hospitals into our pharma, taking into our pharmacies, we should be, we should stop being selfish. We should look at the interests of the general populace. And somebody also mentioned that, um, um, I, I think it was um, Binta that when they go to clinic with pregnancy, these people are actually, you know, neglected. They go and they go, you know, the people attending, the nurses are, are, are going out and, you know, talking crap, or maybe they go to lunch, walk around talking all this crap, they don't focus on somebody who just gets reported in the clinic. What kind of nonsense is that? You know, you are walking and then somebody's life is in, in danger. And, and I had even had somebody was screaming and saying that, I mean, when woman was screaming, he said, when you are doing it, did you even consider, you are not screaming like this. What kind of nonsense is that? Huh? I had that phrase in Facebook that somebody was, you know, screaming. He said, well, you didn't consider this when you are doing it. So, you know, when you are doing to get the baby, what kind of nonsense is that? What kind of, you know, like uh, somebody dying, you know, you, you kind of bringing that nonsense uh, opinions or, or observation into play. This means that you are playing with people's life. So that's why we need to sensitize our people. This kind of workers need to be get rid of. We need to make sure that our medical folks are well-trained, are professional, and they take care of the business has been told as to what the duty requires. But again, all this is poor management, poor, poor leadership, poor everything. You know, if you really have people on point who can deliver, who has the mission, who are concerned, they will hold each and everybody accountable. And that's how it goes through the chain. But from the top, if it is not being enforced, they don't care. They only focus on them, how much money they can make. This is what kind of results we get from the bottom down, uh, from the top down. So it's a chain work. Uh, somebody also mentioned that, uh, uh, um, you know, like, uh, you know, the minister came. The minister came, which is Alice, and, and, and actually it spoke about this COVID money. And we saw it. We all cheering for it. Hey, Samate is great and all that, whatever, whatever. But who, the, the people who oversee the minister, what action have they taken? Including the president, zero. So what does that tell you? 
oh my guy is you know my guy is guilty of this and this i'm not gonna get rid of it because of what political my political interest nonsense political instant in interest you, you what about country interest i think that comes first if we really patriotic people so we have a lot of cleaning to do but i will let alice come in and then and then and then and then, and then uh, some of the these are some of the observations i got from you guys um i'm sorry um uh, some want to come in quickly and then we can go back you know again and then and then and then you know finalize this topic thank you guys thank you all thanks alice for your contribution thanks uh Sisone. again uh, binta thank you all um you you all mentioned the very important parts in this um, you know, like I said, I, I always like to think about solutions and, and, and here's the reason. Uh, in, in America here, you know, the company I work for, we deal with a lot of money. We deal with a lot of funds, you know, and, and for at least 15 years, my job was, you know, I focus on where can we lose money? How can we prevent that? I want to look for those solutions, loss prevention. How do we prevent this? And I'm gonna talk about this uh, that from the equipment standpoint, to me, it's very easy. It, we just don't have that. That's why I said from the beginning, we need a reform, a reform from the top, you know, the board of administrators, administrators for our healthcare system. I mean, if we don't have people that know how, because some of them lack the know-how, if they don't know how, they can't do anything about it, okay? We need people that know how. Um, you see, equipment part is easy to me. That's easy. That's I can walk in there today and say, you know what? By next week, I'm gonna know how much, how many equipment is in this hospital, and what are they, and be able to identify them all. So when equipments come to, that's why I said we 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 need a whole new a fresh start. If we build a brand new hospital somewhere, uh, that's gonna be up to standards. Every equipment that comes to that hospital will be listed with their own serial number. You see, in America, if you steal a car, in any way in the world, every car has something called a VIN number, vehicle identification number. If you steal a car, even if you paint it 25 times, we're still gonna find that car if we get to it. Because all you have to look at is look at the VIN number and you'll be able to identify that car. So all the equipment that comes to the hospital should be listed from the asset management standpoint, they should all be listed there with their serial numbers. And every, at least once a year, I, they can do it, when they start this, they can do every six months. Asset management, I wanna know what assets do we have in the hospital? You go back and identify every piece with their serial number to make sure, yep, this is here, yep, this is here. I'm missing this one, serial number so-and-so, where did it go? Who is responsible? Tell me right now or you're fired, you're out of here. Get them out of there and hold people accountable. Put people in handcuffs and take them to police and take them to be prosecuted and put in jail. Set that kind of example. That's what you need to do. That's what we need in Gambia. So every equipment should be able to, they should able to be able to track it. And NIA can walk into any pharmacy or any medical place if they have, if they have suspicions that medical, medical equipment, government's medical equipment is going to so-and-so's medical clinic, they will have the right to go search. Look for the serial number. If you find it, confiscate it, take it, take that person to, to, to prosec prosecute that person. How did they get that? Who gave it to them? When was this done? This is how you stop things like that. All right, I'm gonna talk about um, another part that's really part of the solution. Part of the solution is this is happening all over the country women are losing their babies, women are losing their lives. It happens, every, whether we know it or not, we're only hearing what happened in the Combo area. There are things ha happening in, in, in the rural areas where you know, uh, we don't have any record of. And every, if you think about this, every member of parliament represents a constitution, I mean, a, a constituency. They represent their own area. If we all get up in Gambia and tell our MPs, you know what, you guys need to make good laws that will protect our healthcare system. If not, we're not gonna vote for you next time. Mm -hmm. Those MPs turn around because in the, in the member of parliaments, they have subcommittees. It's a subcommittee for the healthcare system. That subcommittee 
need to be able to stand up, have their meeting, and bring it to the table to the, to, to, to the National Assembly and say this year, if the government brings their budget, we're going to say we want to see the health care system. What budget do you have for health care? Because health care is all of our concerns. We are all responsible for this. We need to make sure our people have a very good health care system. So we want to see the budget where you budgeted to, uh, to, to really bring better equipment, good hospital, good health care system. What do you budget out of this? Let's get rid of all this nonsense travel and padims out there. Let's put the money into the healthcare system and have a good plan. If we don't see that in the healthcare budget, we're not, the National Assembly should say, if we don't see that, we're not signing this budget. If the government shuts down, that's their business. It shuts down, period. Let's get a healthcare uh, system in place, a very good healthcare system in place. All National Assembly members should be in for this. If they are not, guess what? Their people should not vote for them. They should be out of that healthcare system. I mean, they should be out of that National Assembly. So when they demand that before they sign the budget, they are going to get it because they have the power. They sign the budget. They approve the budget. So very easy. They should be able to demand for that, to see something put in the budget for health care. That's part of the solution. That's what needs to happen. So there will be allocation for health care, good allocation, and that money should be put into use. And of course, Corruption is a whole new ball game. And if I start talking about it, I can start talk about it from now all the way to the end. So, so I won't even go there. I'll just, uh, you know, say uh, very good things about it. So I want to say very good things about it. Uh, corruption really needs to be controlled in Gambia. And the way it can be controlled is first time, the way it is now is all over the place. And, and, and it's not going to be any, easy to, for anybody to control this right now. The way it needs to be controlled is when the first government comes in. First time we have a new elected government, the president comes in, it starts with the president. It cannot come from the bottom. It needs to come from the top. It has to start with the president. A president, that will be anti-corruption. Number one, you cannot be corrupted, corrupted yourself so that you can hold everybody below you accountable. Once you allow yourself to be corrupted, that's it. Because once you want to fire somebody, they're going to point fingers to you and say, what about you? <laughs> what about you? You did the same thing. You got the same thing. So it has to start with the president. The president should be the person, when we elect a new president in 2021, should be a person that will be anti-corruption. All right? Mm -hmm. That should stay, step, step up. And step very important. Up. the first minister that was caught dealing any illegal activity or even, even anything that is a conflict of interest, that minister should be fired immediately. That's how the president starts. When you fire that minister, you're setting a very good example. You hear something or you see and you have evidence of something happening somewhere in any department, investigate, let's put handcuffs on people, get them out of there, put it on television, let everybody see this is what's happening and this is how we're gonna stop corruption. And if you fight corruption from the top, it will go away. And I guarantee you, it will go away. No doubt about that. Well, the other part I'm going to talk about is, uh, is the customer service part of it. You know, it is sad, yes, that we, we all heard that. You know, yeah. people are saying you go to the hospitals, that nurses are saying certain things to people that are inappropriate. Well, uh, you know, again, it, it all comes from leadership. If we have the right leaders in that hospital, anyone that opens their mouth and say something like that to a, 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 a woman, that should be their last day of work. Really, that should be their last day. They should never work in that place again. We, we should set an example and say, you're fired, you're out of here, you're not in the right place. So you cannot work here, get them out of there. Set an example, once you do that, none of them will ever set it again because they will see what happened. Somebody opened their mouth and said something to a woman, that person got fired that same day. They packed up and left before the end of their ship. Get them out of there. That's how you start. When you start that, you, 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 you set an example. And, and of course, they need to have proper training. You know, you can train to be a nurse, but if you don't know how to handle people, you don't have the customer service skills, that should be another training. They should have, they should incorporate that into the nursery training. I mean, they, I know they learned that, but Gambia needs to have 
Gambia is a different country. Gambia is different. We need more training for our people, then hold them accountable. If we trained you, we know you went to school, you know, we know we took you to class to for customer service class. If we see you doing anything contrary to that, you're out of there. We'll find somebody else. There are so many people sitting in Gambia that wants a job. And there are so many of them that will do the right thing. So the ones that are not doing the right thing should be out of there. They should not be there. You know, sometimes when I think about this, I always say to myself, maybe one day they should, they should just allow me to run this government for just, for just a short period of time. <laughs> I will, <laughs> just for a short period of time. Because, you know, nobody can come anywhere to help and, and get this corrected. Because if you come there, they're going to fight you. They will fight sure. you to eliminate you. They will fight you. If you, get, if you take a job there, they're going to fight you to get you fired. And I don't need a job. I don't need a job there. You know, I make more money than all of them, even the president. If salary wise, I make more money than the president's salary. So I don't need a job. But what I'm saying is it, it needs to start with someone that is going to hold people accountable if they are the real person. That's what we need. So that's why sometimes I say, just allow me a short period of time. Let me come in there and straighten everybody out. That's I it. Know. If I can do that, and I, I think know. Gambia will be in good, on good track. So thank the you. The saddest thing is you can see it, but you cannot do anything from here. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you like Bachili, who said it's, then give him 90 days? He's going to take Gambia <laughs> off the ground. Well, I, I think, <laughs> you know, I think, I, think I, know, some, I, I saw some, that, that, I saw that when Bachili said that, but I think Bachili, you know, we're different here. Bachili is saying that because <laughs> I don't think he has a plan. I, I, I am talking from experience. I'm not going to get other people. I'm, I'm talking from experience. I'm going to get in there. I know exactly what I need to do. So for me, that's that's kind of like what I'm saying. I don't want to be president. Maybe, maybe that's, that's the same thing that Burrow was saying when he were, before he got in. But when he got in, then he, he started to see things differently. <laughs> well, he, he surrounded himself with the wrong people. I, don't, I won't do that. I will get all those wrong people out of there. I don't want anybody. I mean, I don't need you to. There are certain things I don't want anybody advice, uh, to advise me on that. I know what I'm going to do because I know what is happening in Gambia. I can go in and say, this is what we're going to do. You know, give your orders. You follow, through. follow through is another problem in Gambia. They can say a bunch of things and nobody follows through. Look, it doesn't true. happen. I'm going to follow through. I'm going to call you tomorrow and say, what we talked about yesterday, what happened? Tell me. I want to know today. Just, you know, there should be a lot of uh, follow-ups and follow-ups, yeah. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not accountability it's, it's, it's and also mess. not, um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not accountability. Mess, yeah. Nobody's taking responsibility. Nobody exactly. is, you know, and not really uh, nobody watching. Nobody's being held and, accountable. So yeah. everybody's doing what they want to do. That's the, uh, nobody's being held accountable. That's, that's Yeah, I got this guy calling. Um, um yeah. uh, Let me see what he wants. But before that, yeah. uh, let's allow Binta, if Binta can come in and then Alas, and then we can go to Manning um, because he's at work. So let me uh, see what this caller is talking about. Hello. Can you hear us? Man, feel like now, Man, I'm going to contribute. Uh, you take it um, quickly, OK? Um, they are hearing you. Hold on one second. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, uh, can you hear? Oh, go ahead, bro. Oh man, what's the uh, connection? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to see if you can just say what you want to say. I mean, I mean, P actually. Hello? Yeah, yeah what's up connection? connection is not going? Okay, we can go ahead. Um, um, uh, Binda, you want to come in? Or oh, Alice? Oh, yeah, I can come in. Come in. That's all. Okay, what up, Binda? Yeah, well, Malik began. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Good afternoon and good evening. Yeah, an... Yes. Uh, good afternoon and good evening. Good afternoon. How are you, Pa Malik? Um, you guys remember him? Uh, you know, the, uh, yeah. the yeah, Alhamdulillah, I'm doing good. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, the topic is quite interesting. Yeah, let them take care with their signal. It's going and coming. Have, I said the topic to is, is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting me now. Yeah, but you have to hold the 
had a study somewhere because of your sickness. Okay. It just hasn't uh, come. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, thank, thank you very much, um, uh, Momoro Saune, Samsar, and Alas Nger. Uh, today has been the first time that I joined the, the, the program, but I've been very active on the WhatsApp group. Yes, Sam you know, Sise, okay, Sam Sise. Uh, thank you very much. So um, uh, it is very interesting. Um, you know, I've listened to all the, the discussions and then, you know, I've also learned a lot. Uh, the topic is quite interesting, considering the fact that, you know, maternal mortality rate is, you know, quite increasing in this country. Uh, we witnessed in the past week, um, so many women will die in labor, you know, um, that could mainly be attributed to the negligence and the failure of our health care delivery system. Uh, I think to address this problem, you know, um, maybe um, they would say that, you know, they have inherited uh, the system. The system is very bad. That's what they will um, bank on. But I don't think, you know, we should keep on um, blaming, you know, the, the, the former regime. Uh, now we, we have a new Gambia. We have a new Gambia and then we should um, reset the button, and, you know, and, and, and start from there. You know, we cannot, um, you know, blame all our feelings, you know, on, 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 the, on the past regime. I think we have to move on. We have a country to build. Uh, you may all agree with me when, you know, the change of government happened in 2017. You know, Gambians, you know, we are very appreciative of the change, majority of Gambians. And the international community also supported the Gambia in a lot of areas. A lot of money has been pumped into this country, you know, even uh, with our healthcare delivery system. I think um, what we lack here is the leadership and the planning. Mm -hmm. Leadership is very important. You know, when we have, uh, you know, a result and a focused, you know, minded leadership, you know, some of these things that are happening should not have happened in the 21st century. Women should not be dying in labor because, um, you know, uh, you, 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 you carry the pregnancy for eight, nine months. You know, you've undergone, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of problems, a lot of health problems, series of problems. And now, you know, you go to the hospital to deliver, they will tell you that, you know, there is no blood in the bank, you know, which is quite disheartening. You know, um, um, Sam Sise also talked about corruption. I think what he said is very right. You know, corruption, you have to fight it with the top-bottom approach. You know, I, I, you know I, I will quote from the Rwandan president, Paul Kagame, where he said, if you want to fight corruption, you start from the top-bottom approach. You know, graft is a serious problem. You know, it is really affecting, you know, most of the third world developing countries, especially Africa. And the Gambia, you know, is not an exception. So um, it is very important also, you know, we, uh, the government should come up with the, you know, anti-corruption commission. You know, we've been promised on series of occasion that the bill is in the drafting stage from there. It will be taken to the National Assembly for ratification and then setting up the anti-corruption commission. Because um, uh, when graft corruption is not controlled, our development becomes meaningless because we have seen there are a series of reports. But then anytime you talked about corruption, they will tell you where is the evidence. Can you provide the evidence? We've had the health minister went to the National Assembly crying before the whole assembly, saying that there were corrupt activities that were taking place in the ministry. You know, uh, I think with this corona uh, virus, we have uh, received a lot of funds. You know, we could have used those funds, you know, to further, you know, develop our health care delivery system. You know, some of the countries have done it. You know, now is the time that, you know, we can use some of the funds that we have gained from, you know, the World Health Organization, you know, the EU, the IMF and the World Banks, you know, to develop our health care delivery system. Because without, without health, without, without having a proper health care delivery system, I don't think we can move as a country. You know, though we are a third world country, we are confronted with a series of challenges. But still, you know, if, if, the, if, if the appropriate leadership takes up the responsibility, some of these issues can be addressed. So it is very, very important. You know, women should not be dying in the 21st century because of what? Giving birth to a child. It is, it is, it is, not, it is, it is not a good sign for the country. I think, you know, the, the Ministry of Health with the Gambia government should, you know, try and, you know, so, you know address this situation because it is, it is alarming. It is alarming. Most of the women that are now, it is pregnant. You know, when they, you know, when it is time for labor, most of them would uh, think twice. Mm -hmm. But if I go to a public hospital, you know, I may end up dying. And then some of the people that we are seeing, some of these women, young women that are dying are youth. And then they are the cream of our society. So we don't, need to, we don't, want, we don't want to lose all our young, uh, our young women. So and then, you know, they are Gambians they, and, they, and they are paying tax. You know, coupled with that, the government is also receiving some, of, some, some grants and loans. I think we need to invest a lot into our, our health system. You know, the National Assembly would also come into play here. It is very important as lawmakers, 
I think uh, budgetary allocation that is given to the Ministry of Health need to be increased. Though we can see the Gambia is a very small country. But if you look at our population density, it is increasing. We might be very small in size, but the number is increasing. You know, uh, the National Assembly should uh, focus in that area and then try to, you know, liaise with the Ministry of Health. So that yearly budgetary allocation, the Ministry of Health should be given large chunks of the, you know, um, the budget. What we have seen in the previous budget, if you look at the Office of the President alone, you know, millions of dollars have been allocated to OP. You know, before allocating those huge amount of money to the Office of the OP, why not you give it to health, health, education, and agriculture? Because, you know, no country in the 21st century can develop without having a proper health care delivery system, education, and agriculture. These are key critical areas that needs a lot of investment. And we are sick and tired of hearing that there is no money. Since 2017 to date, a lot of money have been pumped into this country. We had a lot of press releases, a lot of announcements, but then those monies that are pumped into the country, are they really having an impact on the life of the ordinary Gambian in the street? This is some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves. All the donor monies that have been pledged, you know, a, a donors conference was organized in Brussels two, three years ago. Almost one, one and a half billion, you know, dollars was pledged to the Gambia. And then we've heard that the French government have already given out 50 million in the area of agriculture. But is that having an impact on agriculture? These are some of the things that we need to ask ourselves. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. You, you said it right. <laughs> thank you. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much, Pamalik, for adding in a, those, kind, those information in. So what we're doing now is, because um, we're going on our final round, we are about almost close to an hour, or about an hour in the show. Um, I couldn't get my, my Marlin Champ in because he has a medical emergency that he's taking care of someone. So, but quickly, we can go ahead and then have Alas come in. And uh, yeah. you know, if Bill want to say something, and then of course, um, then we can wrap it up. But this is yeah. very important. Very important discussion. Go ahead, Alas. Uh, for me, uh, what I wanted to say, I find it very sad. In fact, what Binda said, you know, from the first month, they, they start, the women start to have this problem of struggling, you know. But I think it's not only that, but the psychological problems the women have since at the beginning. I can imagine. I'm not a woman, but I can think of it. Because of, especially because of the situation now, being a pregnant woman, right at the beginning, you start focusing on the ninth month, which is a psychological stress for the woman. And women, when they are pregnant, they should not have any stress, any trouble, because all these things are going to affect the child later in life, you know? But these are things we always try to neglect. I said, said, said it the last time, when people are traumatized, we never look at it even. Some don't even understand what, what is the meaning, you know? But this is a psychological impact in the brains of the woman uh, after thinking what is going to happen next. You understand this condition? It's just like you, you are in the remind, you don't know whether they are going to take you to mile two or not. You understand? That is such a stress. And I can imagine that the women are having also this thing, you know? So again, I wanted to come to Sam's um, his speech. You know, to fight these things, I know, I mean, I mean, I, I wish that it could have happened according to your method. But you know, the problem we have in Gambia is, when I say we are not real to ourselves, we don't like truth. We are against truth. And we always try to take the truth as we favor it for ourselves at that moment. You understand? But life goes around. Sometimes it affects you yourself again. When you will say, oh, had I known, I would not have thought of it, you know? So we have seen it. It happens to certain people. You know, God is watching and try to do it always right and try to teach us. So saying something, especially with our constitution, you have to be very careful. Sometimes you decide something, today is good for you. In five years, it's your disaster. We have seen it. You know, even in our politics, this, this short time, 
Some said something and later they regret it very badly. So they have to be very careful, not always think of themselves, but for the nation, for the Gambia. So again, it's very difficult, Sam, what I wanted to say is to fight this corruption because we don't want to be real to ourselves. I can be criticizing it, but when I know the person who did it is a, is a friend or a relative, I will not talk about it, you know? So I'm not going to be against it. Why? Because I'm thinking of this relationship. Or it's a, it's, a, it's a party member, you know? He is corrupt, but I'm not going to say it because it's a party member. You understand? We are talking of money. When the government is not having money, because that's where we, we come again. All know how many or, or how much money is outside there as tax fraud, you know, which nobody wants to talk about. And we are talking about millions. You understand? We could have got five hospitals. You understand? So, why are people not talking about it? Because the people who are having this money, it's a friend. It's a party colleague, and, 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 and. That's why I said the last time, these are our barriers. When we are not real to ourselves, we'll be fooling ourselves forever and giving the chance these, for these people to enjoy their lives also forever. Because nobody is ready to talk about it. You understand what I mean? But just imagine, I saw the last time the list of people who are having tax for the government who should pay that, and what for millions that is. You understand? So that, that means who is faulty now? The government or the government before because they don't take care to stop this nonsense. And, and this government is doing less about it. So that's why I used to say it's a paradise you know, for them. So many people will pray that Barrow stay there for 100 years. You know what I mean? Because he's not very strict for them. So they enjoy it. But it should change because we have to think of Gambia in general, not here only ourselves, but the Gambia is for everybody. Nobody is above the law. So again, this customer service, you say, you know, that's why I said these are all products from corruption. Because you can only have the people good trained, good school, you know, good personnel, costing money. The money could be there, but it's not used for that. The money could be there, but maybe somebody is taking it to build his house or to buy a new car to show up. Maybe that is more important than the lives of people, that people are dying at the hospitals just because of a very light disease or dying because of maternity problems, you know, uh, or dying because the personnel is not very qualified because they cannot get that much qualification because it's costing money. Uh, and the money is not there. You understand? So what Sam's, Sam's method is very good. I mean, but it's difficult to live like that. In the Gambia, you understand what I mean? That's why I say your method is very correct, very good. Every strict uh, president will handle like that, you know? But for us, you always have the environment. If you want to be true person, you have more enemies. And which is the same in our society. If you want to have more friends, you have to be a liar. You know, when we don't change in the Gambia these things, it will affect us everything. You know, and when if you if you want to be rich, you have to be corrupt. You know, we have to correct all these things and try to live realistic. You know, because all these problems we're talking about, there are other problems. But even this, the women having this problem, others were dying even before the corona just because they went to hospital. They cannot buy their medicine. Nobody cares. You know. And people are donating from the diaspora. Some are making containers there, just because they see these problems there in the Gambia. But when they go there next time, holidays, they see nothing. So that is also no help, because there is nobody controlling all these things behind. That should be controlled. I think uh, I'm OK for today about this topic.
All right, um, that, that was a very good insight. Again, um, uh, Brita, you can come in and then, you know, uh, Sam will go in and then I will wrap it up. Thank you, Alas. Yep. Ah, yeah. the last time for the last government, Daniel, the Balaf Pass to Musoli, told Batal, the Balaf Pass to Musoli. It is a chance to have opportunities to need to lamus will be connoted a catawl outside lay. It will be opportunities to all. And when you laugh, I is full of the carta or a gamian, a musole dani, al carta of fine, al carta of fine. Although yet in Bejamanu, the more can have phone or both president Barotan so phone. Sign in myself a at the mamus will consider a mamus will mark way. No old band of fall, it ever evil ibita do my lay a cotagia fall, the carte of fine. Health Minister Mba Daniela, ye lopitano, ye equipment or KJ, ye musul makwe, especially matal for mortality ward lamba. Musola uludula is very important. It's very important. You know, so can I advise Momod more in the demoted Tarladula to Fana. Dobe je fa aka ke ba ma fulan la te kana ka kumo fo e me ala ko ni wurta e wurta wala e kumbo te ka fe na mu nyi ba ka ka lumbe na ba diare en so ama nyi nya wo nyam e dole te wulu do fana e do wulu ala le wala mu sul ka bara ma izi de ama izi nte inde so ko nan ko la bon ka ko na tan ba futu kan te ko no so to sa en te because mahal anu mu su jawa be je ni ko no be la sa e ki jo ka tare fara kan ni because because but this time, I have a tough muscle. Can Baba Bakele, Masakunda Nante Musol Gibe, Balafa Musole. Gambian women's life matter is very important because more more colorful. Near eating of Luina eating with Nita Fat, a year ding of two day. It came out of Musulman Futula, Alada Malaya long. Maybe as a patient sort of eating way, Dobby Jabuka patient sort of eating way. It didn't work, can I more Canadian yadola man and cow, honey bedding cook on up gadi. So, whatever government done like Balafaso to Musul, and Minister of Health, Dr. Lamin Samate, Alial Nia Fellow Musul camp, it's very important. Kamusul the health care GB. Lobitano, Kodijamal Natajan, Kodijamal Natajan, Hanatar Kuru for Mansia, tax money, payers money, Sata, yeah, yeah. Ye borrow natural of Tano, the Joran natural of Tano, because in the Lacabata, needing us at a Tacabata, need a phone sass at a problem on other. Am I easy? Gambia Titano, we can provide a private hospital, clinical, Nikoibita auto, mostly La Molacata outside, men, Quebada, and a Bafleco, Kodo King and Bitani Lopitan Carle. Say need a more sort of doom. O it a more sort of outside, men, and Quas and Abuloma Kobe. Tell us out of me, I'm full. It's very, very, very important. By the way, you on the ground and you put them out witness day. So, yeah, but this I, problem is not only woman problem. Men problem. Yeah. The men should also stand up because yeah. it's about their wives. Okay, you know? let's go in together. Okay, so let's go in together. Let's go in, go in hand in hand. So, saying, um, uh, yeah. uh, uh, alas. You know, it is your final word, okay, then to be nine, Mandinka, to Rabida. Yeah, I mean, for me, that's my only advice. They have to uh, make sure that the process, this anti-corruption board is even late. We're going to our fourth year, and it should have been the first bill being signed from the Gambia, from the Gambia government, and, I mean, the uh, Barrow did his part. The thing is hanging at our most important people who were supposed to go and make stress. They are leaving it behind. It's the other way around, which is very astounding. I think we have to pray and uh, make them put this post that the MPs try and sign this thing, no matter what, 
is very important because that will save our life. All these problems we are having, I used to say, people laugh, it's a product of corruption. So we have to look how can we stop that so that there will be money over for certain things like helping the woman because people are dying like ants there, it should not be, you know? And uh, that's my advice anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alice. Um, Sam, so final word, sign. Yeah, I'll make it easy and uh, simple and short. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I always say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's just that simple. It, planning is everything. Anything that we do, we've got to plan it very well. If not, it's going to fail. So if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. That's it. So, um, uh, thank, uh, Binta, thank you for your time. Thank you for what both. Uh, uh, my final words here is uh, uh, two things. Um, you know, and, and I always, I've said this back in 2018, when I created my forum called Solutions for Gambia, I said this there, corruption need to be started, uh, be fought from the top. It needs to come from the top all the way to the bottom. And I said it in 2018, said it in 2019, I said it in 2020, and I'm saying it again today. Same thing, it needs to be from the top. Uh, but a uh, couple of things that I wanted to say is the government need to, just like I said, the National Assembly need to make sure that the government has a good budget for what they're going to do for the healthcare system. Uh, if not, if not, they shouldn't sign that budget. That's one. Once they do that, then we have a good healthcare plan system. And, and the two, if they do that and have a good healthcare system, good hospitals, good people, good technology, good customer service, then people will not be going to the private clinics. They will be going to the hospital because the hospital is good. They have good service, good doctors, good equipment, good service there. All right, the second part is the, the, the private clinics. Another thing that needs to come out, whether it's private clinic and the main hospital too, is we need a, people need to wake up. Uh, you know, what they say is, if they slap you in the face one time, the person that slaps you in the face, you need to watch out the next time you meet with them, right? <laughs> you need to watch out. So make sure that he cannot slap you a second time. So you need to be the one that needs to set the example. Um, we need to make sure that all medical malpractices in Gambia get prosecuted. If a woman goes to a private clinic and you have wrongdoing there, medical malpractice that ends up in a critical condition or even uh, uh, losing somebody's life, that private clinic needs to be sued and prosecuted if they have to sell everything in that hospital to pay that, let them do it and close. When that happened, if they close, they shut down, all of the other medical uh, uh, private clinics will all be saying, oh my God, oh my God, what happened? We better be careful now because so-and-so had medical practice, uh, a malpractice lawsuit, and they won against them and they shut them down. So therefore, we gotta be very careful. Let's tighten up our game. Let's have a better plan for people so that doesn't happen to us because otherwise they can end up being shut down. Medical malpractice need to be looked at in Gambia and take them to court, sue them, uh, and, and let them face the consequences. That needs to happen. Again, I always want to set examples. Set an example for doctors. Set an example for all private clinics. Set an example for all people that are corrupted. A good example will stop a lot of these things. But the planning, all of this need to come from the top. If it doesn't come from the top, anybody in the middle try to do anything, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And just like Alice also said, you know, the family and friends, that you know each other and all of that, the truth is not being said. You know, when you run into situations like that, what's the solution? Get people that nobody knows. You go find people that nobody knows. Bring them from outside. Let them be your auditors to audit all of this and hold people accountable. And as a president, you tell them, even if my own brother is part of it, let him go to prison. Let him go to prison. Let him face the consequences that he did. Mm -hmm. If you set that example, uh, I think it's going to stop. Because if I bring somebody from Nigeria or Ghana to do that for me, to hold people accountable, because my own people don't want to hold each other accountable, 
because we are all related. We are all friends. We all know each other and we don't want to tell the truth. I'm going to bring a, a stranger that's going to tell me the truth. That stranger, I may pay that stranger 1 million in a year, but that stranger is going to save me and also create me 100 million revenue because all the money is now going to come to the government. It's not going to somebody's pocket. It's worth doing spending a million dollars or a million dollars to pay somebody uh, mm. to generate a hundred million. I will do it. So yeah, government need to look you. at it from that perspective. <laughs> thank, thank you. you all. all right, thank you. Um Abaraka Bake Sam Sise uh Panelisol Allah Baraka Bake Alice uh Binta. So just to wrap up and um Bafala Manikawala so that you know uh that can drill it down. Um Especially Munya Lonko in the Konoma, I got Konosudo and Dongi Mang, you got Angle Kong for a new sea market packet. Pull me summarize with them. Now, healthcare system morning, Najara Lobunda, Boloku Kachak and Jang, and Dong, Mulikuma came the barrel for me. A morning assemble water packet. First, you know, Ikonimota Kukat Mulu, Timoy Muda, no soul in the care. Ibuka knows the mal be another kemelem, a keller rule that menke ila pool to put on a mirror water bucket. Sometimes you can find it for Ibu would last time, but be back in water mena. Ibu Ibuko mirror. Ukuma si far will come on young. So I may recommend one of them. You know, si far need with Lado Ni Bundi, Dukula, as a Kundai Bundi Dukula keep punish, Latin deal a co in under a trial professional. Olam yinti ni mo nata abi tingo bara ye focus woka kakata ye ye tinti ulbulaje idela haju do chokuto so narna discuss kana ko a Gambia la medical equipment or thing men kana hospital do the mal bije ni nata abin bido bido ko la hospital do na for doctor or lamba for doctor or la assistant or la wole kafe or do cha ya sambe la pharmacy or do olmu kule temi ya ko amani ya. Jadi bahasa Malaysia farmasi itu model cara menyenti. Kena cara amik sudah dua mula jarak lulus dengan cara sukulah nyam. Orang muslim orang fanam fikir. Yo, nara fuk fanam ko. Ah, government ah beri sama dengan nara nunjuk ke dia mu. Kata ni ko, you know, like COVID lagi panjang. Modul bija kau kau ni ah rosak tu sinyal fikir sinyal sebab. Orang mana yang cuma orang ko korupsi nolam. Sunya orang mana yang orang. Berapa fono? Moliak mul bulu kosai moliak tentu ia jai pari mampem mai from the top, you know ada kabel tu mamp mamp barat jemi alam ko katen di koyo mul panis wasifal lale meni alam ko ilafto sunya roll kela so fana unik kuya wasta pake nanti try la ngah ngah korupsi no kela korupsi no wala mudi kafung cai memang kecati one di fung bangkola fung iba cale itu dah makun kili nafad dema wasta bangku tu mesti sokak warai bi fung cale mul bulu Kunjung kembali, isi jual celah perut itu 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 あああどんな状況にとってペイ、みんなファンプットインとダッシュポジションもしなんば、ファンフォーキョ、いいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい
ya be dun do wolto fa wolfo mo fi sayata dan ya 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 ta ya 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 e mon 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 ko ni kalamala so wo dia mo mo ka ta si fa lel ke dan na tani fa nan ko ino a na musu barola musu kun da sa try ye ye musu la musu la jaro wi mo ara ba ke a because musu le mon na samati musu wol ka karto wol la karto si ya ka so ni lafta pro e karto kon sul bulu fo musul fana fo isu wala na ko dila min ke da jara ro la karo ya so fana ko ya mon fana ke da jam ani jam jamal fana ke da jam me alon ko ka tande ko a ntol as a community ngan ta tay la by all means na na musul support ya a ngalon ne mo jamal ba ke kan ne par hana manke masaku ndati support is meant you know ko na musul la ci da jadi kende sabas no nyaame because uh we health we any agriculture will import important the bakel pro mankola nyaata so nin nin dia municipal aka important bakel pro ka awareness samana dal ka civil education don ka wala ke nin nin government ka dofna na kuma male nka 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 society ko man ka protocol ma so i i put on the bakel pro nin expo pro nin kamala masakuna samoy na banko dul samoy pro nin kamala dul be sa try nga na part play nga na part play as a country as a citizens na banko ni bitala ni atole so wala tina na ni to ko so do bi so mbal bula la jang man la fi kala time mo ta but ni question de malek reste jang a fen de malek fodo jang a maybe in sa in sita tru wala quickly just to make sure that mo li comment so je but comment de malek fodo jang a maybe plan all of them but maybe uh but inside the current place uh, no comment no new response while uh we go to the uh the page so ala barka bake uh i think we can end, end up here uh it was a very important topic very important discussion yeah. thank you guys uh binta thank you for making the alliance binta yeah alles thank you so take care take care ala barka bake thank you yeah Thank you.